Now we're here to talk about the 2021 changes to Micro Mini from Winnebago Towables. So let's start by talking about the changes to the tires here. We have gone to a thicker, more aggressive tread pattern on this off-road tire, gives you more peace of mind while you're traveling. Also the options to go to non-traditional campgrounds. Where we could across the line, we put larger awnings. The main focus was to kind of redesign this area so that way you can actually open your entry door further or past that 90 degree angle so you're not butting up against there. And this particular model in the Micro Mini lineup, it got a redesign to the Murphy bed area. We'll talk about the redesign to it on the inside, but on the outside, the redesign gives you increased pass-through storage with indoor-outdoor access. And while we're talking about the changes to the Micro Mini, we're gonna give you power stabilizing jacks where applicable. We're gonna give you 12 volt tank pad heaters. We're gonna give you one 100 watt solar panel and a charge controller. And we'll talk more about solar on the inside and how it can benefit you with 12 volt refrigerators. So let's go on at the inside, talk about all the changes to the 2021 Micro Mini, as well as show you the new crosshatch decor that we're excited about. All right, we are here inside the 2021 Micro Mini featuring the all new crosshatch decor. So what we've done here, the inspiration on this decor really stems from B-Van or Classy Sprinter Market, um, a nod to European styling, full overlay cabinetry. And so we, we dipped our toes into this with the hike last year. We showed it to dealers, they loved it. We went to owner's rallies, they said they wanted more of it. Give us more of the modern, not just the earth tones, browns and tans. So we've really went all in and we're giving you this European contemporary styling for 2021 in the micro mini lineup. So again, you're gonna have a Cumberland maple main cabinetry. You're gonna have an accent linen with the kitchen and the overhead and the bottoms tying in this accent linen into the header of the slide fascia. So you can see here in the kitchen, we were a lot more intentional about using this, kind of giving you that top to bottom look with the accent cabinetry here. And even in to the point where we redesigned your, your GFI outlet, your carbon monoxide detector, because we really wanted to go all in and give a sleek style. So what we did here is we gave you a tip out spice drawer or a sponge drawer here where you typically would have just a, a dead panel with four screws to access winterizing. And let's face it, dealers or customers, after the first couple times of running those screws in and out, you're kind of stripping that out. So we just give you a tip out drawer here. Uh, that way you can get in there and access for winterizing. So again, functionality, but also from a styling and aesthetic standpoint. We wanted to give you more storage. In this particular 2108 DS that we're in, we added 10 doors and drawers. In a 22 and a half foot, 4,000 pound rig, we added 10 doors and drawers. We added a larger refrigerator. Right here, this is, we're showing a 10.3 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. In years past, all you could get was a six cubic foot gas electric. So now we're giving you a 10.3 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator, or you can get an optional eight cubic foot gas electric refrigerator. With this 12 volt refrigerator, we're giving you the 110 volt uh, charger, or the solar charger with the charge controller, which will trickle your batteries. This 12 volt refrigerator won't burn through your propane tanks as fast. It's actually a lot more efficient than a gas electric. It cools a lot faster. So again, giving you more, giving you more options to choose if you want gas electric or if you want 12 volt, but giving you more capacity versus years past. We're giving you more in a larger 1.1 cubic foot convection microwave. We're giving you more. Again, we talked about the 10 doors and drawers there. So adding a big storage drawer, giving you more features, the three burner flush mount. So you get additional cooktop or prep space, but again, kind of giving you that fun backlit knobs, giving you more. We're giving you a more residential pull down sprayer, faucet with sprayer, and then again, a larger single bowl undermount sink that you can drop the sink covers in here so you have more prep space in a smaller trailer. 
So one pain point that we were listening to with customers is the fact that the bathroom door sometimes got in the way, especially in travel mode. We, we know that these small rigs, people can jump in a gas, a gas station, truck stop, have lunch, need to use the bathroom, and we had a swinging door here. So we addressed that in the models where applicable. We actually did a 180 to the bathroom. The shower went from the off door side to the door side, so that way we could actually incorporate a pocket door. So very nice feature so you don't have that door actually coming out here and, and interfering and getting in the way, especially for travel mode. The next thing that we are super excited about for 2021 in the Micro Mini is addressing the pain point where customers were basically fed up with only getting a dinette or a jackknife sofa option. So really in, the, in years past, you could only get a booth dinette here in the slide or you could get a jackknife sofa and the jackknife sofa over time would sag or just wasn't comfortable. The biggest pain point we have in the seven foot wide is where the tires and axles and the wheels are placed. So it creates kind of a buildup. So we're working, we found this new piece of furniture that allows us to design around the slide mechanism. So again, it sits more residential. I'm six foot two, very comfortable. It's not just a thin uh, jackknife sofa that's gonna sag over time. Has a real residential feel with armrests too versus just having to sit here. But the biggest thing is how it just really diversifies and offers you sleeping options. So what's really cool here is I pull on this tab, it slides out, and now I've got a sleeping area, again, being six foot two, that I can actually lay down and have a secondary comfortable sleeping option in a small lightweight travel trailer. Now to put it back up, very simple to operate. You can see I'm basically doing it with one hand. So again, we believe this is gonna be a real game changer as well as a great feature to the end consumer. Now you may ask, what about dining? Where do I dine? Well, you can see here, we actually have a bracket that is got a support back here that we can actually integrate a table and table leg in, which, you know what? We're gonna show you how, to, how that operates. But for right now, for storage, it actually stores right back here. In years past, when you had a folding table, it would just kind of toss right back behind there. We've actually given you a storage hutch to store that all in. So what I'm gonna do is I'll pull all this out, bring your table out. Got bracket here. bracket here so all right so now we got the bracket and the swing arm in we take our table and we just pop it right in here and there you've got comfortable dining for two what's nice is it's got this pivoting or oscillating arm so I can either I can strap it in or kind of lock it in place but if I want to get up and out I can actually push it out of the way easy to get in and out of the sofa while in dining mode so that's kind of the high level overview for Micro Mini and this awesome new piece of furniture that we have. But before we wrap up, I do wanna talk about our redesign to our Murphy bed, which we have featured in multiple floor plans across our Micro Mini line. So I'm gonna pack this table away and then we'll come up front and we'll show you all the changes to the Micro Mini's Murphy bed. In years past, the Murphy bed would kind of stay up at an angle and wouldn't go up flush and we know customers on social media they didn't like the overall look and they wanted it to go up flush so our engineering team did a great job this year and we've addressed that so you can see here whether you have your bed in your up or down position you're going to see the same accent wall uh, paneling there from the aesthetics or styling standpoint we actually with this design again i talked about in certain models where we've added doors and drawers for storage. This one in particular, we added 10 doors and drawers. So here we added access to storage. We talked about on the outside how this redesign allowed us to give us additional pass-through space. But again, customers were wanting versatility. I, wanna, I don't wanna have to run out my door in the rain and grab something. You can grab those needed items, whether you're inside or outside. So we did that there. And then we added two massive pull-out drawers 
underneath the jackknife sofa for packing all your stuff to go along with you. So now here's the good stuff. Your jackknife sofa, easy to operate. Drop that down. Still have the nice latch or handle here to pull this down. We pull the Murphy bed down. And as you can see, the mattress is a split mattress. It's not just a standard split mattress. The top and bottom are angled at 45 degrees. Now, we kind of got this inspiration from our motorized group who has a class C sprinter where the slide goes out. And they were very successful in using a mattress like this. So we've brought this into the 2108 DS or the Murphy bed floor plans for Micro Mini. So it's really nice when you get that set. You've got your fitted bedspread here. Go and lay down. The way that it works, you don't feel the crease or the, the, the crease on the small of your back. So it gives you the feel of a uh, solid mattress. So one big thing here that we wanna show to kind of wrap up is this particular model, we are in a 22 and a half foot long tip to tip travel trailer. We're seven foot wide, compact, easy to tow, and we're about 4,000 pounds dry weight. I can sleep two adults comfortably in this Murphy bed, but going back to this piece of furniture that we talked about, I pull this out. I have room to sleep four adults in a 22 and a half foot trailer that's seven foot wide, 4,000 pounds, easy to tow. Think about that. Great, great features and amenities that we're bringing you in the 2021 lineup for Micro Mini from Winnebago Towables.